Hello and welcome guys to yet another DI question. In this data sufficiency question, what is being tested is your ability to read every word. And are you able to understand the inference behind what the sentence is saying? Let's jump right into it. Beginning at noon yesterday, water was removed from a partially filled water tank. Okay, what do we have? We have a partially filled water tank. Okay, only this much is filled. At noon yesterday, noon yesterday, 12 p.m. All right. Water was removed from partial filled water tank at a constant rate of 300 liters per hour. Okay. 300 liters per hour. So basically at 1 p.m. The water would be whatever initial amount was there. X minus 300. At 2 p.m. it would be whatever the initial amount of water was. Minus 600. So on and so forth. When there were 600 liters of water left in the tank. Okay. So the water kept on decreasing and finally it reached a level of 600 liters. No more water was removed. Okay. At 600, this was stopped. So whenever this value, basically X minus N, that is hours into 300, like this is R post 12, reached 600, uh, the flowing was stopped. All right, so if we know the initial amount of water, we can get the value of N, but we do not know the initial amount of water. Were there more than 1000 liters of water in the tank at noon yesterday? So basically we need to estimate the initial amount of water. So there are two variables, initial amount of water and the number of hours uh, the tank was flowing before shutting off, right? So these are the two variables if, and we need to find the value of this. If we have the value of this N, then we can solve, okay. So let us jump into our statement one. There were 600 liters of water in the tank at two yesterday afternoon. Okay. 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 So now what is a mistake that you can do here? You can infer this as you would read two 600 liters. So you would infer that N is equal to two. And that is where you will lose this question. That is why it's very important to strategically infer and understand what exactly is being said. What is being said? Let us jump into it. 600 liters of water in the tank at 2 yesterday. So at 2 p.m. there was 600 liters. But, but, but at what time did the level kept on decreasing and reached 600? So say it can happen at 2 p.m. also, but it can also happen that it reached the 600 level at 1 p.m. And if you would see at 2, it would be 6 uh, 100 only because this is now stopped like there is no outflow now so if you would understand this concept that it does not mean that at 2 it stopped at 600 right that is a wrong inference what this sentence is trying to say is only and only is that at 2 pm it was 600 but at what time did it reach 600 this exact time we do not know no clue so this statement is not sufficient to answer so we can eliminate option a and d moving on there were more than 650 liter of water in the tank at one yesterday afternoon. Okay, let us analyze this statement. So we do not know how much more. There were more than 650. It was just more than 650. So say for example, this is at 12 p.m. This is 1 p.m. At 12 p.m. we had certain amount of water. It kept on decreasing. Uh, it kept on decreasing. And since at 1 p.m., we are saying that it's more than, uh, so this is basically, so say if this is 650, uh, let me just redraw this graph for better clarity. What they're effectively saying that the water kept on decreasing till a point when it reached 600. This is the 600 level, right? And at that point, it ceased. Now we need to understand what was the time when it reached 600. Now what they're effectively saying is in this statement, more than 650 liters of water at one. So say for example, if this is our 650 mark. Now at 1 p.m. this was greater than this. So basically if this is 12 p.m. and we can put 1 p.m. anywhere. 1 p.m. can be here as well. Here it's more than 650 or it can be here as well uh, 1 p.m. It is again more than 650. So we do not know again exactly at what point was the level at 600 that is what we need to find this value of x 
So again, this statement is insufficient to answer. We can eliminate option B. Now, if we combine both, do we get our value of N so that we can calculate X? There were 600 liters of water at tank at 2. Again, we do not know at what point of time the tank was closed. There were more than 650 liters of water in tank. So what we know that between somewhere between 1 and 2, this tank stopped flowing, right? So tank flowed for uh, 1 point XX hours, right? Now, just for calculation sake, if you uh, put this 1 point XX here. So basically, if you combine both, what I mean is at 1, so this is our timeline at 1 p.m. and then at 2 p.m. At 1 p.m. it was 650 and at 2 p.m. 600 has already reached. So between somewhere here, uh, the water reached the level of 600 and it ceased flowing. So our X would be 600 plus 300 N. Now this can be in the range of 1 to 2. The minimum value can be 300. The maximum value can be 600. So X can range from 600 plus 300, 900 to 1200. What we needed to find out was uh, where there are more than 1000 liters of water. So it can be both. It can be less than 1000. It can be greater than 1000. And again, both statement combined doesn't really help us. So option C is also gone. E would be our answer here. So the important part of this question was that at first look, if you do some wrong interpretation, this question would look too easy to you, which is a trap. It is not. You need to properly infer what you have read. You should not make your own assumption that at 2 it stopped. It didn't stop at 2. It stopped somewhere before or at 2. We do not know simply. So yeah, hope this helped. Thanks a lot.